Good morning, and welcome to the 2017 P2EP Annual Symposium. My name is Aaron, and I've been a part of the P2EP for three years, and this is my first year as a graduate mentor. Good morning, my name is Samantha Case. Uh, I'm a fifth year graduate mentor with the P2EP program, and this is my fifth year as part of the program. Um, a few housekeeping things to address. The bathrooms are on either side of the hall, far right, far left. Um, and please, please, please silence your cell phone or at least turn them off so that way there are no interruptions or sudden phone calls during any of the presentations. Everybody's worked really hard to put them together. Many have contributed to the success of the program to get us this far, including the faculty advisors, the undergraduate coordinators at our partnering institutions, the sponsorship from companies such as Linguomatics and the NC Biotech Center, the principal investigators and graduate students who mentor the summer interns, and the consortium members who support us with all the infrastructure and guidance to move our research forward. So to date, there have been over 100 summer interns as well as 10 PhD students that have benefited from um, the dedication, forethought, and insight of the P2P leadership team created back in 2012. It is our honor to introduce the academic leaders of the P2EP program who spearheaded this initiative in coordination with our industry sponsors. Dr. Corey Brower is director of the Bioinformatics Services Division and associate professor of bioinformatics and genomics at UNC Charlotte. Dr. Marianne Lila is the director of the Plants for Human Health Institute as well as the David H. Murdoch uh, Distinguished Professor in the, plants, uh, in the Department of Food Bioprocessing and Nutrition Science. Before Dr. Lila and Dr. Brower make their way to the stage, uh, I would like to ask as well the other members of the P2EP Directors Board to stand so that we all can acknowledge their hard work as well as dedication to the success of our program. We have Mark Spitzer with Castle and Cook, uh, Dr. Corey Scott from General Mills, Dr. Nick Gillett from Dole Nutrition Institute, as well as Dr. Steve Coleman with the David H. Murdoch Research Institute. Please join us in thanking the P2E Directors Board um, as well as welcoming Dr. Marianne Lila and Dr. Brower. Good morning. Welcome to our fifth summer of P2EP Symposium. So we're very appreciative of all of you for coming today. One of the exciting things about being on the North Carolina Research Campus, and there's a lot of exciting things, stellar facilities, wonderful instrumentation, blend of expertise, all these things are great, but one, the one thing that attracted me, sorry, the one thing that Whoa. <laughs> the one thing that attracted me so much to come to this campus was the blend of public-private at, at the same place. Easy camaraderie, easy collaboration between academic units and our industry partners. And so back in 2012, um, Corey Brower from um, UNC Charlotte and myself from North Carolina State as, as academic leaders, and, and this year we've, we've added North Carolina a and also as an academic leader in this program. We were with our industry partners, particularly Dole and General Mills, and thinking, what could we do as a, as a project to really bring together the instrumentation that we have, the expertise that we have, the public-private, how could we really capitalize on it, maximize output with these wonderful resources that we had in a joint project. And we came up with this idea of the Plant Pathways Elucidation Project to investigate the genomics, metabolomics, and bioactivity of economically important plant material. And um, this, is, these are, these are, this is a difficult enterprise. We wanted to answer three little questions. What does a plant make? So what, what products does a plant make, like, like um, proteins and fibers and bioactive compounds? And then how does the plant make this? So what is the pathway by which uh, some of these products are made? And then finally, what good is that product for human health? They sound like really simple questions. They're tremendously um, complicated 
enterprises to, to figure out these pathways, to elucidate these pathways, and something that can only be do, done in a team effort. And so that was the, the opportunity for us to bring together PhD students, academic leaders, uh, PIs, and, and get together and, and try and solve some of these problems in this team setting. And we've had wonderful results. Thanks. This program has been just uh, absolutely fantastic to be a part of. And while we were looking at how we could maximize the strengths of this campus and really make use of the fact that there's these opportunities for collaboration across the campus, the other thing that we were looking at is what is the mission of um, the universities as academic institutions? And our mission is to educate future researchers, educate students. And so we looked at, okay, how could we really capitalize on the assets of this campus in providing that type of education? And what we came up with is we knew we wanted to do two things. We wanted to provide the best opportunity for our PhD students and the graduate education that we could provide for them. And we also wanted to provide opportunities for undergraduate students to give them exposure to research so that they could experience that hands-on and decide whether or not that was something that they wanted to pursue as a career themselves. And what we came up with was having PhD students be mentors to undergraduate students. That would help them. One of the things that PhD students need to do and what we try to prepare them to do is to eventually lead their own labs. And when they're leading their own labs, they need to know how to instruct and pass along their knowledge to others. Well, this was a tremendous opportunity for them to do this with undergraduate students, provide that opportunity for undergrads, and also get the experience of being mentors. The other thing that PhD students rarely get an opportunity to do is to experience research in an industry setting. Here we have an opportunity to provide research opportunities for our graduate students in both an academic and an industry setting. Many of these students we know will likely go on in industry and jobs there. So now we are preparing our students for that type of environment with the skills that industry is looking for to hire. And they can make a choice whether they want to go into academia or into industry. And the third thing that we're providing for our PhD students is project management experience. And so this opportunities for undergraduates, this unique opportunity for PhD students preparing them for careers in science has really been the second leg of this three-legged stool that we like to talk about when we talk about PEP. We talk about the science, we talk about the education opportunities, and then we also talk about this idea of creating a knowledge base of all of the scientific information that we're developing as part of this program. Combining that with what's already known and creating this knowledge base that can be queried and used for hypothesis generation so that we can continue this type of research and continue to expand what we know about plants and the nutrients and the nutritional benefits that they provide for us. So we mentioned that back in 2012, we got this idea to put this thing <laughs> together. But we all know you can't just have an idea and make it work. You have to have money to make it work. So besides enthusiastic support, by financial and idea-wise from our industry partners, we really got this thing launched with a very generous grant, wow, <clears throat> from, um, from UNC, General Administration. And that really got us going with, with, with four years of support for each of our initial PhD students and some of the research support that got this thing launched. Now, UNC this year has done a series of videos on the NCRC campus, professional videos that have been fantastic. One of them was on industry sponsorship of research, industry interactions. One of them was on outreach um, to, to uh, local communities and, and to homeowners. And one of them was on 
professional development or economic development. And they featured in this video the Plant Pathways Elucidation Project and did a fantastic job. We'd like to share that little video with you right now. We have to do it from here. <laughs> oh, okay. I did not know. All right. We all know that blueberries are good for us, but what is it about a blueberry that's good for you? A blueberry actually has compounds in them that are medicinal. Most people don't understand what those compounds are and how we can actually breed to make a better blueberry. In the Land Pathways Elucidation Project, graduate students are selected for their knowledge and their expertise, but then the graduate students select undergraduate interns that can come and be part of their team to contribute to the research effort. Many of the undergrads that come into this program have home institutions that don't have research facilities. And they are here as interns, not as a summer job, but as a professional development experience. They know from the beginning that everything that they do is of interest to not only their graduate student mentor, but their faculty member, and the industry partners. All of their discoveries become part of scientific applications that are going to make an impact. So they're learning things that nobody else at an undergraduate level would even have the chance to learn. They are not afraid to say, let's try this, even though it sounds like a crazy idea. And sometimes those crazy ideas are exactly what's needed to move research to the next level. All right, next on the agenda, it is our privilege to introduce uh, Miguel Munoz, who is, works with Dole. He joined Dole in 2001 as a research and development scientist in banana technology. He now oversees the design and implementation of lab and field experiments in the areas of crop physiology, banana breeding, biocontrol, micropropagation, and fruit quality. His role supports general managers and production managers with data analysis and agronomic recommendations. He obtained his bachelor's degree in, agron in agronomy and crop science from the University of Costa Rica and his master's in plant biotechnology. He carried out research on rice viruses at the Center of Research in Cellular and Molecular Biology at the University of Costa Rica within the Rice Biotechnology Network. He was awarded a fellowship from the Rockefeller Foundation and obtained his PhD in plant molecular biology at Cornell University in 2000. Returning to the University of Costa Rica, Miguel researched protein analysis for plant viruses and genetic engineering prior to joining Dole. It is my privilege to welcome Miguel, and I look forward to hearing what he has to say. Uh, particularly around uh, the new banana program that we have as part of PEP. Welcome.